1040.com might be a tax software you are considering to file your 2020 tax return. It offers a decent service at a decent price, but nothing really stuck out about this tax software. In this video, I'm covering a complete review and walkthrough of the 1040.com tax software and why you might consider something else to file your taxes. Hey guys, it's Justine with the College Investor Investing and Personal Finance for Millennials. So the first thing that you want to know about 1040.com is whether or not it's free. And no, it's not. All users will have to pay a flat rate regardless of their tax filing situation for their tax return with 1040.com. So what's new with 1040.com in 2021? Well, other than a few minor tweaks to the interface, I really didn't see much that was worth mentioning here. Other than when I was going through the tax software, I was having major deja vu because it is literally the exact same software technology as what's used in Liberty Tax. And that's because Liberty Tax and 1040.com are owned by the same company. So I'm not entirely sure why they don't just combine those two websites and create one cohesive software that may be even better than just two so-so tax softwares. Okay, let's talk about 1040.com's pricing plans. So all users are going to pay a flat rate of $25. And when I was on their website, 1040.com, their homepage, you can see there is no hiding their pricing, which I really appreciate from a tax software. It's $25 for everyone. And even if you have multiple state returns, it's still only $25. So no hidden fees, no gotchas, no complicated price tiers, and I really appreciate that. By the way, because Liberty Tax and 1040.com are literally the exact same thing, you're going to want to go with the cheaper version, which is this $25 price if you were choosing between the two. Okay, so now that you know the pricing, let's go ahead and jump into the software and I'll show you how it works. Okay, this is 1040.com and we are going to click this blue start filing button in the upper corner fill out all of this stuff right here and i will meet you on the other side inside of the dashboard okay <laughs> when you get inside 1040.com i also want you to check out our video on liberty tax <laughs> it is the exact same thing so either you are going to pay $25 for this software or you're going to be paying close to $80 for this exact same software through Liberty Tax. So for what that's worth, I don't know why Liberty Tax and 1040.com don't just merge together. But there you go. Different different markets, different audiences they're trying to appeal to, I guess. I have no idea. But you're going to go through and fill out your personal information first. As always, most of this tax software is pretty standard and pretty much the same thing. One thing that I noticed inside of the federal tax portion is that when you are filling out each section, so if I go to my W-2, I've already input all this information so I can see it in one scrollable screen and then I can edit things if I need to. But if I was to add, let's say, a second W-2, it is going to only show me the form in little sections and then I have to go through each section by breaking it up into different screens, which I don't like. I wish it had the entire W-2 page in one single view so that I could go through it in its entirety. I think the only benefit for them setting it up this way is that it, it ensures that you don't miss anything so that you really are meticulous in looking at each of the forms. Also, one thing that I do like about 1040.com is that you have the option 
to either be guided through all of the sections. So they're going to take you line by line, ask you each question, and it's a little bit more tedious than if you just did self-guided. And self-guided, all you have to do is scroll down and then go through each of these sections and see what pertains to you. So if you have interest in dividends forms, if you have retirement forms or business forms that you need to input, you can always go through and click the blue link and go through the prompts. Let's say you were a freelancer. Okay, so I just input that extra form just to see what that looked like under business. And then you can see up here at the top that your federal refund or your state refund will update based upon the forms that you enter. Or you're going to see the amount that you owe listed here up at the top as well. So I do like that these blue buttons here kind of tell you, okay, either guide me through or I'm finished with the income section. Then you're gonna move down to dependents and then deductions and credits. So if you've had mortgage interest, any taxes that you paid here, you can input that. And again, I do like how they have everything listed in one window to show you, okay, oh yeah, what's this income earned credit? And they give you a brief summary under each section to tell you what it is so that you can see whether or not you need to investigate it further. Also, you will see that 1040.com is updated with the latest tax law changes, including reporting health care coverage. If you've had coverage through the health insurance marketplace and you received the 1095A form, then you would report it here. Otherwise, you can click no. Then you get to the review section of your federal return before you hit up your state tax section. And then you can click this, I'd like to see the forms I've filled out or search for a form. And then you can see everything in one spot, which is really nice. The only thing here is that their help and their knowledge base is really lacking. I mean, unless you're gonna search for, if you know what you are searching for, there's really no little bubbles or pop-ups that really help you figure out what everything is. And then you have this contact or live chat option here. So I feel like this was kind of lacking on the inside. Let's go down to review, finished with federal, and then you can go into your uh, state return. Now your state return is going to copy over most of your information from your federal return. And then if it, there are state specific tax forms that you need to fill out, such as for California, there's the sales and use tax, and then also reporting the general health care coverage information. Those are gonna be different than what you might have filled out in your federal return. And then you're going to click continue. And then what I like about this is that they give you a PDF preview of all of your forms so that you can see what will be formally submitted to the IRS, which I really like because these are the actual forms. And this is something as soon as you've submitted your return and you actually make this legitimate, you're going to get a copy of this so that you can download and keep for your records. So this is 1040.com in a nutshell. You have pretty basic bare bones, dashboard and software on the inside and it's the exact same stuff as what you're going to see inside of Liberty Tax. So if I were you and you were choosing between the two options, I'd definitely go with the cheaper one and in this case it's 1040.com. So 1040.com is a less expensive tax software, but less expensive doesn't always translate to a better experience. As you can see, as I was walking through the forms, I had to do a lot of clicking just to get through one form instead of having that single page when I first was inputting the information. That would have been really helpful. Also, this there really wasn't much to look at, and I felt like the support and the help system really wasn't there either. So I feel like 
you're better off using something like a Credit Karma Tax, which is a truly free version, or if you want more support in that premium feel, then take a look at Tax Layer. Now, if you are still trying to make a decision on which tax software to use to file your 2020 tax return, then be sure to check out all of our complete reviews and video walkthroughs at thecollegeinvestor.com.